Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to sit down and share with you guys my secrets to getting dewy skin even if you have oily skin. It can be so hard to find a foundation, a primer, a powder combination that works to make your oily skin look dewy without making it actually look oily. I know it is a concept that I have been trying to wrap my brain around for the last couple of months or so, trying different products, seeing what works and what is going to give me that beautiful glowy skin without making me look super oily. And usually if you have oily skin, you want to go towards a matte foundation, but I'm here to tell you that it does not have to be that way. I'm here to tell you that we don't have to always go towards the matte look. There is hope to get that long lasting dewy skin. For many, many years, I only wore matte foundations because I thought that it looked best on my skin. And while they did keep me pretty much oil free, a lot of them didn't do that. Like they just looked heavy and made me oily and they just didn't wear super well on my skin. And so why not just embrace it a little bit? If we have oily skin, we might as well just embrace it instead of trying to hide it all the time and actually pick products that are going to complement the oiliness because it actually can look very nice to have a little bit of oil come through throughout the day. So I'm here to share with you some of my favorite products for achieving that dewy, long-lasting skin even if you have oily skin. That seems to be a very different concept than what we hear around YouTube and in the makeup world. So I always prime my face and the first thing that I do if I want dewy skin is to go in with a makeup mist. So you can use any makeup mist that you have at home. These are just products that I have personally. You don't have to go out and buy these particular products. And just keep in mind that these are some of the things that work for me. You may have to buy a few things to and play around with them to figure out what works for your skin. Like even though I'm telling you everything that works for me, it might not work for you. But that doesn't mean that you can't find products that are going to do a similar thing, even if they're not the specific products I talk about. So my favorite makeup mists are either the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This is probably my favorite one, but if you are looking for a drugstore version, I really like the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. This has hyaluronic acid in it, and that is great for hydrating your skin. It does sound odd to be like, I have oily skin, but I want to go in and hydrate it first. It doesn't sound right that you want to hydrate your skin even though you have oily skin, but you should hydrate your skin. No matter what skin type you have, your skin needs hydration. And just because you spray these mists before you apply the foundation does not mean that you're going to get more oily throughout the day. So I'm going to go in with the... Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, and I spray that everywhere. Really make sure I get my skin nice and drenched. Sometimes I go in and actually just rub it into the skin. Next, I use a pore filling primer, and this, again, can be any primer that you have already that is geared towards more smoothing or pore filling, but I have two of my favorites right here. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refining Primer. You can see this used in so many of my videos. It is a holy grail primer for me, and then I also really like the Smashbox Minimize Pores Primer. This is a great alternative. It's a little cheaper than this one but not by much. They're both from Sephora. If you can find a pore filling primer at the drugstore, that would work just as well. I'm going to go in with this one because it's my favorite. And this actually has a little bit of a tint to it. So you can see right there, it adds just a little bit of coverage, which I really like. And what you want to do with the pore filling primer is only go in your T-zone, which is where I get oily. Like I get really oily on my chin. I get oily around my nose and in this section right here and just a little on my forehead. You can see I'm avoiding like the outer part of my forehead and my cheeks because I don't really get oily there and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to put a pore filling primer there if I'm not oily there. So you do not want to put a pore filling primer all over your face. It's going to take away some of that hydration and that glow that we got from the mist primer. Next, I go in with my foundation and you want to make sure that the description of your foundation doesn't say matte in it because it is going to definitely look matte on you. The types of foundations that I go for when I want dewy skin is it's going to have a description that says satin or natural finish. Those are the ones that you want to use if you do want that glowy skin. And my personal favorite 
is the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. You can find this at the drugstore. It's affordable, and to be honest, it beats out all of my high-end Sephora dewy foundations. So what I really love about this, number one, is the packaging. It has this little applicator, which I think is nice. The glass bottle's really pretty. But aside from the packaging, this lasts so well on my skin throughout the day. This is so long wearing, and that's why I added the long wearing portion into this video. On my skin, this lasts all day long. I know that some people struggle building up the coverage with this foundation. My favorite way to apply it is with a sponge, but you do have to build it up that way. You can get medium coverage out of this foundation. You can actually get more than that, like high medium coverage, but I don't think it looks that great with a brush. So I use a sponge and then I just build it up on my skin. To me, this makes my skin look so smooth and so soft and it gives me a subtle glow from the second that I apply it. It's not going to make me look insanely dewy right now, but it's all about how it wears throughout the day. If you put on a foundation that is incredibly glowy now, imagine, like if you have oily skin, imagine how it's going to look at the end of the day. You want to start out with something that gives you just a little glow, but is not insanely glowy. The whole idea around these product combinations that I'm using is that you start out looking a little dewy and then as you go throughout the day, it wears so nicely and it just gets a little more dewy as the day goes on. It's not just dewy and pretty when you first apply it. It is an all day type of thing. So as you can see, I'm having a little bit of that glow. To me, this foundation looks like my skin, but better. I love that this foundation gives me a subtle glow right off the bat. And I've heard really good things about this foundation if you have dry skin as well. It's not just people with oily skin that can make this foundation work. I'm going to add just a little bit more onto my cheeks. All right, so that's about the coverage that I want. Again, if you have not tried this foundation, I encourage you to go try it. It's affordable. I just think it's so, so good. So then I go in with my concealer. I chose the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because this does not claim to be super matte. Every time I have used a matte concealer with a dewy foundation, it draws a lot of attention to my under eyes. And I don't know if it's the same for everyone, but I tend to stay away from a super matte concealer like the Tarte Shape Tape when I want that more dewy look. This concealer gives me just enough coverage without looking too full coverage, especially since the foundation is not full coverage. It always looks a bit weird when I apply a full coverage concealer. And then, like always, I go in and I set my foundation. I always use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Even though when you first apply this powder, it makes your skin look more matte, that does not mean that it's gonna look matte the entire day. I just take the smallest amount and put it on my skin. I don't want too much powder, but I do wanna set it to where I can apply other products on top. All right, so here is a close-up of my skin. As you can see, I'm turning my forehead just a little bit, and you can see this subtle glow on my forehead. On my cheeks, it's not completely matte either. There is that glow, like especially as I move my cheek around, I can see a little bit of glow coming through on the camera. Yeah, this is what my skin looks like before we apply bronzer or anything else. This lasts a very long time. It lasts all day long on my skin. And I know that this is a dewy skin video, but for me, because I do have oily skin, I have to set my foundation. It's just the way it is. So I try really hard to put a dewy base on. So even when I apply the powder, you can still see that glow coming through. And then as the day progresses, it is going to get prettier and prettier and a little bit more dewy. So now that we have the majority of the face done, the last thing I like to do is go in with a highlighter. You can use any highlighter you already have. My favorite is the ColourPop In Nuendo palette. This is actually a very affordable palette. You just go onto the ColourPop website and you can't go pick it up in person, but it is an affordable highlight palette. 
And here are the shades that are inside there. This is a great palette if you want that wet, dewy look. Not like that chunky glitter. Yeah, no, we're not about that. Because the powder did set down the foundation a little bit, I'm gonna add some of that glow back in with the highlight. So my favorite colors to mix are these two. I always go in with these two and I'm gonna put it on the tops of my cheeks. So that's what the highlight looks like. It's super, super pretty. It makes your cheeks look very wet. So then I go in on the Cupid's bow and I go on my nose, like down my nose and at the end. And then sometimes I go like up here a little bit just with the remainder of what's left on my brush. It gives just that little glow back. So this is everything that I do to give myself long lasting dewy skin. I'm going to go finish up the rest of my makeup. I will be back. I figured I didn't want to do a full face in this video because it's more about the skin instead of everything else that goes on my face. But I will be right back to finish up this video. So here's my skin up close. You can see that it looks very glowy, very natural, and very skin-like. My skin looks glowy, it looks natural, and it's going to wear really well throughout the day. This is what I have been going towards more recently, and these are the products that I have been using that make it work for my skin. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on my future videos, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!